Hey everyone, it's Rob Litton here from drumstheword.com. Apologies in advance, I'm probably going to get a lot of uh, flack for this video on YouTube. Keen aren't everyone's favourite band, I know that. But I do get a lot of requests for Keen on my website and on Facebook. And I also happen to really like this song, so up yours if you don't like it. So today I want to show you how to play Somewhere Only We Know by Keen, drums by Richard Hughes. The tempo is 86 BPM. It's a nice steady song, this. And there's a little bit more to it than you might than you might expect. Um, the bass drum is quite low in the mix, so it's quite hard to hear sometimes what the bass drum's doing, but Richard does change up the bass drum quite a bit throughout the song, um, giving each section its own sort of feel, which is quite cool. Um, so we've got the intro, um, uh, and uh, in brackets I've written closed hi-hat, so our right hand is on the hi-hat, and it starts off relatively simple. The first drum beat, uh, first bar, sorry, is very simple. One, two, three, and four. One, two. Basic stuff. The second bar involves uh, a bass drum note falling just before beat three on the uh of beat two that falls in between the hi-hats on the and of two and three, which is a little bit more advanced, but it gives the bass drum sort of a push effect. We actually get this. One, two, a three, and four. One, two, a three, and four. One, Two, a three and four. One, two, a three and four. So up to speed. It's not so fast that a beginner couldn't be expected to get this relatively um, early in their in their playing. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it, it could also be quite complicated for people to learn that technique with, with, with the uh, with the bass drum foot. So if you find that difficult, leave out the extra bass drum note on the uh of two. It's not really going to affect the song that much. Or the alternative is just to play the bass drum on the uh of two and leave out the bass drum on beat three. So you still get that push effect. So you get this instead. One, two, a uh, three, and four. One, and two, and a uh, three, and a uh, three. Instead of and a uh, three, we just get and a uh, three and leave out the bass drum on three. One, two, a uh, three, and four. One, two, a uh, three. That's a really cool drum beat to learn anyway. Really funky. So there's your alternative, uh, but like, if it's really complicated, just play one, two, three, and for, for all these complicated bass drum parts throughout.